Hey guys, we wanted to tell you the seven reasons why we decided to leave California, leaving basically what a lot of people would think of the American dream. The first reason is that we felt like we were really stagnating for a couple of years now. We, you know, we've been married 17 years and for the last 17 years. Yeah, I think so. Right. Going on 18, as you Dang. say. Yeah, I know. Right. Um, and so that's, old. <laughs> that's young. <laughs> And so um, for the last like two years, we just felt like we were stagnating where we were living at. The second reason is that we were feeling so stressed out and we were working so hard. You know, Americans are known to work hard and we definitely worked so hard and we were fighting more because of it and just trying to feel like we were just getting by. And so we thought instead of just masking the problem, let's just deal with it and let's treat the cause of it. Reason number three, um, every year we've come back to France, uh, we've saved up for it, we've worked so hard every single year, and we've, we've opted to, rather than take some uh, mediocre vacation a few times a year, we've really wanted to give the kids and us uh, a whole different experience that we can take with us for, for the rest of our lives. It's it, totally uh, invaluable, rather than just purchasing things. Um, but what we did realize was little by little, um, our house in California became more valuable to rent out. And we realized each time that we came over to France and we started renting our house out uh, during the time that we were over in France, we started realizing that budget wise, we were struggling to make it in California. No matter how hard we both worked, uh, it just, you know, just felt like everything was way too expensive and stuff was just, you know, our, our money was floating away. But coming here, the lifestyle, um, everything here in France, uh, for the most part, is cheaper than where we were in California. Um, so budget-wise, we just thought, well, hey, what the heck? Why, well, why don't we move to France and actually save money and mm -hmm. actually live our lives a little bit better? I'll never forget that epiphany that we had last year after coming here for a decade in the same area, even if I'm born and raised here, and looking at each other after we talked to so many of our friends that had two kids and looking at a family of four, what to anticipate budget wise and you doing the budget and being like, oh my gosh, Rochelle, like this just makes sense. Like, like what are we doing? Yeah. What are we doing? Basically. Yeah. Spicing it up a little bit. Hmm. What was it? What are we on? What was that? Number, number three? four. Number four. Yeah. All right. Reason number four, um, keeping our marriage alive. Uh, like she was saying, you know, we've been married a really long time. <laughs> um, and for the past few years, we've just felt like, We've just gone into this routine of just doing the same thing over and over and over. California is beautiful. We live right by the beach. It's an amazing place in San Diego. But there's only so much that you can really do, especially with the kids, and you only have a couple hours to do this and that. Um, so we just felt like we were doing the same thing over and over and over, and we, we slowly lost our sense, sense of adventure and slowly lost that spark within our marriage and within us. Um, we didn't realize it. And then coming back here, we just started to get this, the spark again. And we, you know, we realized that coming over here, not just because of vacation, but because of many reasons, um, we got along better and we weren't bickering and, um, you know, just being real, uh, everybody goes through it. And this has totally sparked a new adventure, a new project and a new life for us. That's true. Another thing is that um, we have two boys that are 13 and 11, and we really fight the technology and we fight them wanting to be on screens all the time, which is kind of just part of the era, unfortunately. And where we lived, why it's beautiful and we could be outdoors all the time because of the weather in SoCal, uh, we feel like here they do actually spend more time outdoors. Like they are not on screens. And every year we'd come, we just kind of noticed that they, they weren't even asking to be on screens as much. Um, they would just go out and play with their friends or playing soccer. They're doing a bunch of stuff. And so we, um, and I'm an educator, I've been in education for 20 years. And as an educator, I saw also that what we were offering them school-wise was something that we preferred and the way that schooling is in France for us suited our family better. And especially in California, how things have been going and certain trends and they don't really um, fit our values. So that was another reason why we decided to move. Then number six was for some of the relationships. So I lived in California for 19 years and I think 
well, you were on and off, I guess, so it's a little different. <laughs> but um, I was in California for 19 years, and over the course of 19 years, I'm so grateful that I was able to create a community, have some really good friends in my life. But it was really hard at first because coming from France, where um, friendships are so authentic, so genuine, um, so deep, it was really hard to move to Southern California where people are really friendly, but there isn't always a depth in a friendship, at least not at first. So that was another reason that we, from over the course of time where he got to know not only my childhood friends, but new friends that we've met over the years of coming, he's been like, wow, I can't believe how amazing these people are and just how authentic. So that was another reason that caused us, that brings us to our very last point that is pretty fun. Number seven. Number seven. That is true. Yes. Um, I mean, this kind of goes along with budgeting too, but uh, you know, just looking at sports for the kids uh, in the States and the prices are just what we experienced are ridiculous. How much was it for one kid to go to whatever sport it was? 300 a month and that was non-competitive. Um, yeah. So, I mean, with that type of budget, you know, if we took that same budget here in France, um, we could go all day to uh, Tiholien, which is uh, like a zip lining throughout the forest um, all day for what, 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 like 20 bucks a person? Yeah, 20 bucks a person all day. 20 bucks a person all day. Lining. As far as like sports, like organized sports, like school, you know, soccer, rugby, whatever that, what, what, what is that? 100 euros, um, 120 for the year. For the whole year. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things um, that we're able to experience a lot more within our budget. Uh, just by moving to a different place and this doesn't necessarily have to be our story I know that's a lot of your guys' stories when it comes to um, Breaking that that habit of thinking that you're stuck in that one place and breaking that habit thinking like okay Well, our story is California to France, but your story might be something in it from a different place to a different place I mean our uniqueness of, of, of what we're talking about can relate to anybody else because it doesn't matter whether you're uh, whatever position that you're in, any excuses that you guys make is solely keeping you there. And, you know, just because we have a specific situation where we've made it happen, um, it's not nothing special. It's nothing that, that we just got something handed to us. We, we worked hard for it for many years. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what I realized over my life is that anything that I was either complaining about, oh, look at this guy with his car and, you know, oh, he just got lucky because he makes a bunch of money or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be about money. Um, could be about relationships or anything else. Uh, I've realized that, you know, I just stick my face in, in, in the ground and put my head down and just work, work, work. Mm -hmm. um, but work smartly because mm -hmm. if you're just throwing away your money and you're putting out more than you are taking in mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't make any sense either so you know we've we've have many friends that make a lot of money um, and they also spend a lot of money and their lifestyle keeps them where they are and they're unhappy and they don't realize it I mean listen there's nothing mm -hmm. it's completely quiet and you don't realize uh, that you need the nature you don't realize that mm -hmm. just listening to the sound of nothing or listening to the sound of birds and anything else around here heals you heals your your friendships yourself mm -hmm. um and that's a lot more valuable than being in the inner city where you're hearing sirens and when you're hearing trains and where you're hearing helicopters go by and the hum of the traffic and you know people honking at each other frustrated because they don't realize it that but they're they're all stressed out and they love where they live but they don't mentally have a way to get out and essentially it was a family decision i think it's really important that when you make decisions that are so life-changing that you think it through, you make calculated, you take calculated risks, but that it's a family decision that you make for the benefit of everyone. And next week, are we going to show them our first project that we're working on? Big project. Oof. Okay, so come back next week and we're going to show you the very first project we're working on. Aviento. Aviento.